Hey everyone, it's Count here. I want to talk to you all about something really interesting that I've been working on with the folks at Newfangled Audio called Invigorate. Now, I know that there are a million compressor limiters out there, but to me, Invigorate is doing something truly unique. It allows me to add the things that I want from compressing and limiting, like the energy and the glue, but without destroying the dynamics. And it's amazing for the times you don't want things to sound smothered or clobbered to death, but you still want the vibe. So this plugin is definitely becoming a major part of my mixing and mastering, and it's basically on every mix that I do these days. So Invigorate is essentially a deconstructed compressor, limiter, and overdrive all in one. And it sort of uses the best parts of each of those to create one processor that's designed to add the energy and the glue, but without sounding like it's overly impacting the dynamics. I absolutely love the character that compressors can give to a sound, but sometimes that squishing of the dynamics part of the effect isn't actually what you want, especially like on a mix bus. So I'm finding that this plugin is extremely versatile compared to a lot of other compressors. It works well on just about anything that you can throw at it. And you'll notice right away how even with pretty severe settings, it will get you far more useful results than other compressors. It sort of magically allows the detail to come through. I've been using Invigorate a lot of different ways on my mixes. It's pretty much always on my mix bus. So instead of a traditional compressor, Invigorate really maintains the clarity while still giving me that cohesion that I want. Okay, so let's take a deeper look at Invigorate. I'll start by testing it out on the mix bus for a song that I'm in the process of mixing by the New Orleans band Galactic. I've chosen this track because it has some heavy elements, especially the drums, which are actually live drums by the great Stanton Moore. And they're meant to sound very hip hop. And so these super heavy elements really allow you to hear how this plugin responds, more so than if we were using something very legato or very light. And let's start on the mix bus because I feel that's really where this plugin shines. Now, the main theory behind Invigorate is that a bus compressor, at least the way a lot of modern mixers use them, isn't really meant to control dynamic range. It's really meant to add more energy and glue. And these things are usually just kind of side effects to the compression process. But the idea behind Invigorate is that it's to actually make those things the focus. So you'll notice right away that the interface design in Invigorate is pretty unique. This sort of morphing radar UI is really the main control. What essentially is happening here is that this control allows you to dial in how heavy you want the processing on the vertical axis here, more compression, more overdrive. And then you can morph it between which kind of character type you want on the horizontal axis, compression, limiting, overdrive. Now this curve section over here, it has a huge impact on the sound as well. And now it isn't a normal compression curve. It's much more like an overdrive distortion curve. You'll see this squash functionality intentionally does this sort of over compressing. As you push it down, you'll see visually here what's happening to the curve. And that uh, allows you to get some pretty creative results. And then the shape, of course, is self-explanatory. You can see here on the curve how that works. And so these functions here kind of totally replace that traditional ratio control that you'd see on a compressor. Now, moving over here to the level detector, this section only affects the compression and the limiting. These kind of controls you're familiar with, they appear on most compressors, but they can sound pretty different on Invigorate, especially when you're going into extreme settings with like a super fast attack or release. So a lot of times if you're using a traditional compressor and you go with these sort of extreme settings like a super short attack and super short release, uh, you can sometimes get a really interesting effects, but they also come with side effects, you know, super, uh, a lot of these artifacts and, and harshness, for example, if you, if you really crush a drum bus this way, 
you can get a lot of this harshness and ugliness in the symbols. The interesting thing about Invigorate is that it becomes incredibly useful even with these extreme settings. And I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. Now, another unusual part of the UI of Invigorate is this section down here, which is all about the tone controls. And there are three different sections here. You'll see one for sensitivity, the input exciter, and then the output tone control. The sensitivity you can think of sort of like a side chain EQ. So it's controlling which part of the sound is triggering the compressor to hit. So if you push up the lows, you hit the compressor harder. And if you reduce the lows, that allows the low frequencies to pass through the compressor kind of unaffected. This is super useful when you want to limit like a drum bus and you want the low frequencies of the kick drum to pass through unaffected and not get clobbered by your compression or limiting. The input exciter is also an interesting feature of Invigorate. It allows you to sort of enhance or diminish the frequencies that are getting fed into and pushed into the processing up here. So for example, a uh, use for that would be if you wanted to saturate the high frequencies on a drum bus to get some of that hi-hat sizzle, you could push the top end into the overdrive. And I'll demonstrate that here in a minute on a drum bus. The output tone is just a basic three band EQ that allows you to do a little basic tone shaping at the very end. So let's say you've done some creative processing where you've really crushed your drums and you've got this very cool vibey movement to them and there's some distortion in it. But after all that processing, it's just a little too bright and you just want to back off a little bit on that, that's what the output tone is for. So that's how these three different tone controls allow you to really dial in the tone of the processing. So let's take a look at it in action here on the mix bus. So let me start by toggling back and forth with the plug-in bypass, and then as I start to push it, notice how even at pretty extreme settings where the master bus is being pushed down 5, 6 dB, which is pretty extreme for a mix bus, it still sounds clear. No other bus compressor that I've tried is even close to that. So check it out. cohesion, the movement and the vibe it's giving it. But the life hasn't been squashed out of it. And it's 60 So right away, just with a simple default setting, pushing this radar morphing control around just a little bit, you can hear just how different this plug-in responds compared to a traditional compressor. Now, there's also a completely different way that I like to use this plug-in, and that is what I would call more of an enhancer type plug-in to give it some excitement. And what I'll do is, instead of using it in 100% mix mode, I'm going to get some parallel processing going. And I'm going to go to this input exciter section. And I'm going to dial in a range of this mix that I might want to enhance, like maybe the high mids here and the highs. And I'm going to gradually introduce some of that into the mix, just to give it some of that excitement and sizzle. <laughs> to the sensitivity section and I'm going to clamp down on those frequencies that I just boosted just to saturate them. Now listen to 
of a difference. Now if I back off on the mix and I can give it just a little bit. So that's a completely different way of using Invigorate. And I'm often finding myself using two instances of Invigorate. One where I dial up the basic mix compression cohesion setting, and then I'm adding a second instance of Invigorate. And that's where I dial up this input excitement and dial back on some of the mix so that I did just get some of that sizzle and some of that you know, high frequency and high mid excitement. Now let's take a listen to Invigorate on a drum bus. And you'll see as I start pushing this into some pretty extreme settings, it still sounds great. You don't get a lot of the harshness and artifacts that you would get with a traditional compressor. So the drums are sounding pretty cool just with pretty raw processing. But you can go to some pretty interesting places with Invigorate. amount of, gosh, that's like almost 24 dB of compression. The cymbals still don't get crazy. The hi-hats don't poke out in a weird way. That's pretty extreme. And with the sensitivity control, you can dial back on the low frequencies to allow the low end of the kick drum to come through so it doesn't get destroyed. Pretty cool. If you want the hi hats to come through a bit cleaner, you can pull back on the sensitivity on the high frequencies. Without bland compared to our extreme setting. Pretty amazing. So that's a basic overview of Invigorate and some of the ways that I've been using it on my mixes. Um, it was really interesting to be involved in the development of this plugin and I hope that you guys get as interesting of results that I've been getting.